Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. What am I doing with my arms? I wanted to start a series that kind of breaks down all of the basics for anybody just starting their fitness and nutrition healthy lifestyle journey. I wanted to start this series to kind of give you guys easy digestible information on the bigger topics that if you try and research yourself tend to be overwhelming and have a lot of information in them that can lead you to be kind of confused, maybe strayed in different directions. I want to help you guys stay on the straight and narrow and help you guys get the answers as fast as possible. So jumping in, we are going to be talking about macros. So macros in general is a pretty easy topic um, as a whole, but there are multiple different categories when it comes to macros. We'll talk about that that can then get a little bit complex. So I'm going to try and break it down for you guys as easy as possible. What are our categories of macronutrients? We have protein, carbs, and fats. Each of these make up the overall caloric intake that we have in a day. So for protein, it is four calories per one gram. For carbs, it is four calories per one gram. And for fats, it is nine calories per one gram. And like I said, this makes up the overall amount of calories that we have in a day. Let's talk about carbs first. Carbs are the body's preferred source of energy. They're the easiest to break down and for the body to use as energy. So carbs are super important to have in your diet. Carbs are going to come from things like fruits, veggies, grains, beans, legumes, uh, what else do we have that will be carbs? It will be potatoes, starchy veggies. All of those things are carbs. Now, why do carbs get a bad name if they are the body's preferred source of energy? Simply because not every carb is made equal. We have two categories when it comes to carb. We have simple and we have complex. Now, the difference between the two of them, I will break down for you. Simple carbs are one to two sugar molecules. They are very fast digesting carbs, meaning your body can break them down really, really quickly. So these are going to be found in things like table sugar, honey, syrups, candy, fruit as well. Yes, fruit, and that's where it gets a little bit weird and you'll hear the weird things that, oh my God, you shouldn't eat fruit which is not true. You need to eat fruit. You should have fruit in your diet. There are so many different benefits, nutrients, vitamins, those kinds of things that come from eating fruits as well. So moving on from simple carbs, the other type of carb is a complex carb. Complex carbs are made of a string of sugar molecules. They take longer to digest because of the fiber in them, and they also include different vitamins and minerals as well. Uh, examples of complex carbs are going to be veggies, whole grains, um, oats, starchy vegetables, corn, potatoes, lentils, all of those different things are going to be complex carbs. You do need both kinds of carbs in your diet, both simple and complex. But when it comes to eating carbs, you want to make sure you're getting the most fuel from your food and mostly focus on those complex carbs and using the simple carbs four times when you need quick energy boosts, like pre or post workout, refueling those carb stored sources so that way you can have energy. Most people don't realize that sugar and fiber are carbs as well and make up a large amount of the carbs that we eat. Now fiber in itself is something that you do need in larger quantity for your body to function properly with digestion and things like that. The reason though that it can't be calculated as a macronutrient itself or counted as a macronutrient itself is because your body cannot create energy from it. So therefore it can't be a macro because 
your body doesn't make energy. Moving on to protein. Protein is essential for growth. It is essential for building and retaining muscle as well as repairing muscle. You're going to find protein in, of course, meats, poultry, dairy, all of those different areas. You will find it less in fruits and veggies, but it can still be there as well. When you eat proteins, our body breaks them down into amino acids, which are essentially the building blocks of proteins. Essential amino acids are ones that we need from our foods. Non-essential are ones that our body can create themselves. Animal protein has all of the essential amino acids that we need, so it is an easy way to get all of those essential amino acids. A plant-based protein generally does not have all of the essential amino acids that we need. So if you are going to eat a plant-based diet or a non-meat diet, you just need to make sure that you are getting all of the essential amino acids from different sources for yourself to make sure that your body is able to get those, break them down just like they would if you were eating an animal product. Onto the last category, fats. We need fats in our diet for hormone health, brain function, absorption of vitamins and minerals. We get a lot of our micronutrients from fats. It's really important as well to have in our diet for cushioning of our organs, helping with our cell production. A lot of different benefits for our body come from the healthy fats that we eat. Healthy fats are going to be found in things like meat, poultry, fish, olive oil, avocado, all of the different variations of avocado, nuts and seeds and grains. Those are going to be really great sources of healthy fats for your body. Now, like carbs, fats do have multiple subcategories. We have trans, saturated, and unsaturated fats. Now, trans fats and saturated fats are both linked to heart disease. So they are both things that you really want to limit in your everyday consumption. Trans fats, if you're able to avoid them completely, that's going to be the best thing possible. Sometimes animal products do have trans fats in them, but a majority of the trans fats come from hydrogenated oils that you can find in baked goods, fried foods, and margarine. So make sure you're reading your label to avoid the trans fats as much as possible. Saturated fats can be found in animal products as well, and you want to limit the amount that you eat of those also. So just read that label when it comes to fats that you are consuming. Now, unsaturated fats are the healthy fats. These are the fats that we want to incorporate in our everyday diet olive oil, avocados, seeds, and these healthy fats have been shown to decrease your risk at heart disease. So make sure to include a lot of those unsaturated healthy fats into your diet. And coming up to the close, the most asked question, Ali, how much should I be eating of each macro? Now, I cannot give you a direct answer, honestly. It is so different for every single person. With my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, we dive into a multitude of questions so that way I can figure out what macro breakdown should look like for each of my individual clients. It varies so much from person to person because it goes off of your medical health history, your fitness level, your muscle breakdown, your age, your weight, your height, genetics, metabolism, lifestyle, so many things go into what your specific macro breakdown should be. I can give you guys a general guideline, but again, this is just a general guideline and varies a lot on how much you're going to be eating overall in a calorie intake. Overall calorie intake is very important because that's essentially the amount of energy that you're putting into your body. And each person only needs a certain amount of energy every single day. So it gets a little messy when it comes to giving a blanket, hey, you should eat this much. Very individualized and something that can be broken down if you work with a health and fitness or medical professional. 
I hope this video helped you guys understand a little bit more what macros are, how they're broken down, and what they look like in an everyday diet. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Also, if you have any other ideas for videos for this fitness and nutrition basics series, let me know. Thanks guys.